Good morning, Keitha. Well, so many people have been holding their breath, but feel like they can finally let out their sigh of relief because they're just holding it, walking around Jacksonville. This is the only home so many of them have ever known. But even with President Biden making so many moves on immigration, a lot of them are still not ready to let out that deep breath just yet. You grow up here, you go to high school here. You know, now that they have DACA, right, they're going to college, they're buying houses, they have careers, they've started businesses, they've gotten married. Two out of nowhere, right, that, that be taken away from them, right, like the rug taken up underneath them. Um, was very scary. Jacksonville immigration attorney Andrea Reyes represents more than 20 of almost 25,000 DACA recipients in Florida. DACA, or Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, is for people brought into the U.S. illegally as children. It shields them from deportation. Reyes says DACA dreamers have been living in fear of their future. The Center for American Progress reports more than 200,000 DACA recipients are working on the front lines of the pandemic, more than 6,000 of them in Florida. They have a conditional status for about five years, and then after that, they'll be able to apply for their green card. They have to go through the normal processes as everybody else, but he is reducing it from the original 13-year process to uh, ideally an eight-year process. What could take less or more than eight years, leaving the fear behind. I'm having to look over their shoulders and kind of just wonder, like, what is the next day going to bring? And stay with us because coming up in the next half hour, we're going to hear from a different Jacksonville woman who is being impacted by another aspect of President Biden's immigration bill. And we'll hear from her. That's at 630. I'm Renata DiGregorio, live in Jacksonville. First Coast News on your side.